But good evening, and I am Tenerd as the Human, and welcome to this guide for importing units from the DLC to the base game in Rome Total War. For this guide, I will show you how to take the Graal Knight unit from Barbarian Invasion and add it to Rome's Briton faction. I'll show you how we can take the Immortals from Alexander and use them to bolster the much maligned infantry of Parthia. As an aside, you absolutely can use this guide to import units from the base game to the DLC, or indeed between the two DLCs if that's what you wish to do. If however you want to create a whole new unit then there will be a separate video for that, I'll link it here when it has been released, it will likely be out within a month or two of this video. Before we begin though, do remember to have backups of any pertinent files before proceeding. And lastly before we start, if you do like what we do here on the channel then do like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It is the support of the Marvelous community here that keeps this channel going and creating lots of different videos like this one here. To begin with, we need to find a unit that we're going to import from Barbarian Invasion back to Rome Total War. Do bear in mind that while Barbarian Invasion is inside Rome Total War's folder, Alexander is actually a separate game, at least on my Steam, so you'll need to head back into your Commons folder and to find Alexander. But for Barbarian Invasion, such as this example, we're going to head into BI, then into Data, and we're going to scroll down near towards the bottom into Export Desk Unit. Once inside the file, we're going to use Control F and the Find function to search for the unit that we want, in this case, the Graal Knights. So having found that section of the file, we are simply going to highlight it, and we are going to copy. We don't actually need to save up, we're not changing anything in this file, we're just going to take this information. Back in the folders, and now we want to go to the equivalent file in Rome Total War, so back into that folder, into data, and scroll back all the way down to find export desk unit once again. Once inside the file, I'm going to find a place to dump that information, so we are going to search for head hunters. I just simply like to put my information next to another unit of the same faction. So there's a Breton unit. I do, first and foremost, need to make sure I change the ownership round from Romano British to the Britons. And aside from that, there's not really a huge amount we need to do here. Do though make note of the soldier, the Graal Knights. We do need to reference this later, so it's well worth noting what that currently refers to. Otherwise though, we don't actually need to change this. Do bear in mind that in Barbarian Invasion you might well have some different formations or attributes. We have things like the shield wall instead of a phalanx for example, or indeed the shieldtrum. So those things might need to be removed, but in this particular circumstance there's nothing that we need to change at all. If you do want to change some of the stats I do have a separate video for this, and all of this kind of information is explained to you further up in the file. So for example the primary attribute over here, if we go up to the top, it does explain what that is. So stat primary attribute, AP is armor piercing for example, which counts only half of the target's armor. But we don't need to change anything for this particular unit, so we can save this up and we can go back to the folders. Now we need to head back into Barbarian Invasion subfolder, so back to Rome, into BI, into data, and we're going to scroll down to Deska Model Battle. Inside here we need to find the soldier class that we found in the previous bit of information. So we're going to search for the Graal Knights, and you can see here that this is the soldier class, Graal Knights, that's what the game is looking to reference. So once again we're not going to actually edit anything here, we're just going to copy it out and head back to the folders. So once again from here we now need to go back into Rome Total War and find its equivalent file. So back into data and we're going to scroll down this time through a few more files down to Deska Model Battle. Inside this file all we need to do is find a place to put our information. So I'm going to go down to Carthaginians because that is just below the end of the Barbarian section but we might as well keep things in a sensible place, this way I can easily find it. So Graal Knights, we'll just get rid of this second line here, that doesn't need to be there. We can see that we've got here the primary weapon, there are horsemen with spears, and then secondary weapon there are horsemen with a sword. The rest of this we don't actually need to change. Because Barbarian Invasion and Rome Total War are in the same pack of game files, we will be able to find all the textures, all the models, all the sprites, 
based on these references. It is slightly different for Alexander though, and you'll have to do a little bit more fishing to actually find the right files and move them into some folders. We'll get to that later. But in this example, both for taking a unit from Barbarian Invasion to Rome and from Rome to Barbarian Invasion, we can simply leave this unedited and save it up. Here we are then looking absolutely glorious on our cataphract horses, of course, and big blue shields. Oh yeah, they are looking perfect. Now, okay, they're looking perfect in terms of their textures and sprites, yes, but there are clearly a couple things that are still rogue here. We need to go and uh, sort out the unit card for one, and that also includes this bit over here. We also are lacking the description, so a few little things to deal with in the files, kind of mostly UI things at this point. But um, in terms of the actual battle itself, oh yeah, they are going to work absolutely fine. So let's gallop on into battle, let's see them in action. And here we go, some German axemen going flying. <laughs> and as you can probably imagine, they've immediately ploughed through that unit. Very nice to see. If we uh, change over to the alternative weapon, you can see that uh, we're going to change over to sword. And that's what the skeleton was referring to. We have a spear as our first weapon and a sword as our second weapon. We didn't change that. We didn't want to change anything. There's a separate video coming for actually creating your own units. That's going to come before too long. Don't you worry. But for here and now, this is all we need to know to get some great units from Barbarian Invasion into Rome Total War. To solve the UI issues, we need to head back inside the Barbarian Invasion subfolder and then head into data. From there, we will search for Graal, and it's going to bring up all the files that were referred to in that Deska model battles file. Now, most of them the game already has access to, but we do need to go grab those unit cards. And there are two of them that we need to get. We need to grab this one here, Graal Knights and Graal Knight underscore info. There are mercenary versions of this as well. So just try and make sure you get the correct one if you want it all to look like the right colors. But basically, we need to copy these two files. So I'm going to copy those. And then from there, we're going to head back into Rome Total War proper, into data. And we need to head inside the UI folder. From there, we can get into unit info and into our faction, in this case, the Britons. Now, I'm going to paste them both in, but actually only one of them belongs here. You can see that in this file, all the units simply have underscore info at the end. So we need to actually take this one cut it back out and from here back into UI, into units, into Britons and we can paste it into there. The other thing we need to do is fill out that description section. So back inside Barbarian Invasion data we can head into text and from there we can go to export underscore units. Once again we're just using this to take the information we need so we're simply going to copy this and then we're going to head back into the folders. From here we can head back into Rome Total War into data, back into text, and we need to find the same equivalent file over here, so export underscore units. Once inside the file, I normally just scroll down to the bottom to add in any new units. So here we are, Grown Knights, and we have our description. From here, we can simply save up our file, and we're ready to load up the game. One final thing is if you actually want this unit to be recruitable in your campaign, then you do need to go and change another file. So back inside Rome Total War Gold, we're going to head into the data folder and we're going to find export Deska buildings. And from here, we can make the unit recruitable. Inside this file, then we simply need to find the right building to add our unit to. So I've searched for stables because of course we are using a cavalry unit here. Now this is the first level of stables and you can see here from the Britons that this is where they get their war dogs. Moving down to the next level, the cavalry barracks, we can see that the Britons once again only get the war dogs. So you know what, we're actually just going to put that in right here uh, for ground knights. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy that line of text and I'll simply cut that out put in the name of our unit, Graal Knights, making sure to get all your formatting right. I made a little bit of a, a messy hash of that, but it's all fine and dandy now. The other thing you might want to bear in mind, by the way, is that if you do get a larger stable from any talent you conquer, you'll still want to be able to actually hire the unit. So you will need to go down and completely 
add it in again for each different version of the building all the way up to the Circus Maximus here. So I'm going to add that in one more time. We can just add in one to the experience here for that top tier of building. One small oversight that I forgot about there, a good example for you is that actually the stables can be built by the barbarians as you can see here, but the cavalry barracks, which is um, where I just put the Grell Knight, can't actually be built by the Britons at all. You can see the other barbarian units are actually being listed out here specifically. So yes, we should um, actually make sure that our faction has the ability to build that building. Otherwise, you will have to go around conquering bigger cities. Now though, that we can actually build the cavalry barracks, we'll be able to load up the game and we'll be able to recruit and use the Grell Knights in battle. Back inside the game then, and with a few console commands, I've managed to get my city up to a minor city and build the Warlord Stable nice and early on, and that means that we have access to the Grawl Knights. There we are, a unit card looking absolutely resplendent. We do have a description here. I mean, you can change a description in the file should you wish. I've left it just as it was. And also, if we go onto Army, I have recruited one of the units here, and you can see the unit card looking great down there at the bottom. So here we are, we've got our Grawl Knights. They're recruitable, they are looking great and hopefully you can enjoy them in battle too. If you want to import a unit from Alexander to Rome Total War or indeed to Barbarian Invasion, then you need to follow the exact same steps as we just did for the Grail Knight, except there is an extra part that you also need to do. You see, when we're in Deska model battle, we will need to go and grab things like the sprites, the models and the textures. So I've got an example here with some of the immortal units, some of the Persian units from Alexander. They are both archers and infantrymen. It'd be quite fun to add to Pontus, Armenia, Parthia, those kind of factions. So we're going to add them in just for Parthia here and I'll show you how you can do that. The main difference when it comes to the Alexander units is for example with this one we will need to actually find these different textures and the models and the sprites. Now in this particular case they clearly had the idea of adding this unit on to Armenia and Pontus as well as the rebels. Um, they have put the little semicolons here to delete that line so we can just remove them but interesting that they were thinking of doing that. At this point though yes we can see here we've got the mercenary let's remove that texture and now we've got our Parthia lovely we've got Alexander models and at this point we need to get rid of this part because this is not going to be findable for Rome Total War. It is technically listed under a different game. So we're going to have to change these uh, reference files here so that we can actually find them. So let's get rid of that and get rid of that. So at this point now we actually need to find these sprites and these models so that we can actually put them into Rome's folders. The simplest way to find them is inside data to simply search for the unit that you want. So in this case, Immortals, you will find the info cards once again. You'll have to figure out which ones are the mercenary ones. This one says Merc, for example. So I know it would be that one that would go into Parthia. Likewise with these ones here, that's the Parthia version of the file. So we need to go and grab our sprites, for example. If you're ever unsure where they go, you can go and hover over and it will tell you where they are. So we are going to copy those. We're going to head back into Rome Total War's data folder. And from there, we can put them into the sprites, paste them in. Next up, we have these LOD files down at the bottom here. They go in data models units. So we're going to grab those four, we're going to copy those. And once again, we're going to head back into data and we need to put those in models unit, paste those. And finally, we have this file here. We have ourselves one of the textures, which is in models unit textures. So copy that, head through my shortcut and from there back into models unit into the textures subfolder. And there's a lot in here. We can just paste that in. With the sprites, textures and models all moved then, we can simply finish up like we did last time for the Grail Knights, move the unit cards over and make sure we add them to the building browsers. 
Here we are then with some magnificent pyjama men. It should be said if you want Parfait to have some good infantry, then this is a much better version of it. I mean, it's so we can go have a little look at their unit card. Here are the Immortals. They do only have one hit point, but melee 7, defense 14. Good morale, good stamina. Oh yeah, Parfait are finally going to have something good. We could easily add this to Armenia and to Pontus as well, simply by adding them to the ownership in Export Desca Unit. But on this occasion, we'll just keep it for Parthia. And yeah, they're looking pretty darn nice. We obviously got some Grand Knights on the other side of the battlefield. So yeah, we've taken units from Barbarian Invasion and from Alexander, brought them into the base game. And of course, we should get ourselves some missiles firing soon enough. So as they get themselves closer, there we go. Yeah, we'll see them use their missiles. They do have bows as well. Looking absolutely excellent. Oh yeah, Parfi are going to be so much better with this sort of nonsense. Not sure how they'll do against the Grawl Knights, mind you. But uh, they seem to be shrugging it off so far. But I don't think the Swordsman will do quite as well. Best of luck with importing your units of choice. Hopefully they'll add lots of extra flavour to your campaigns. And if you are on the channel Discord, then I'd love to see your modding jobs over there. If you do like what we do here on the channel, then do consider becoming a member, either here or on Patreon. Aside from the aforementioned Discord, we have the monthly podcast where I discuss what's going on at the channel, and tier 2 upwards, Accretion Archers, get an extra thanks at the end of my videos. And this kind of video in particular can take a great deal of time to put together, and so the support really makes a huge difference. So thank you to all those kind supporters, and perhaps we'll have some more joining us soon. With that though, I think it's time to leave you. Thank you for watching, I am Tenerdus to Human, and for now, it's a goodbye from me, friends. Tally-ho. Go, my puppies, go. Hands down, the German dogs. My chariots are complete lunatics. Stop charging into the spears. Stop charging into the spears. Why did these guys not break? Everyone else has fled. Go home. Go home. What is happening? The chariots.